Hey guys, it's cold outside, but I'm up to giving you a piece of information. Once I got asked the question, how good is solar and how good is wind turbine, and which is better in which weather? As you may see behind me, there is quite a bit of quite a bit of solar, and I have a lot more. Uh, how to show it to you? On the house and also on the in the other place like, let me get you the, the, the piece of, of, of the view I don't know if you can see let me probably try to get higher yeah there on the house and this piece is also a solar and here as you may see there is a wind turbine so let me just briefly explain you how it all works because the main thing is that you have to consider uh, how much during winter time each kilowatt of setup produces and roughly what i have encountered having my setup dusted heavily in the real life like working conditions so my 43 kilowatts of solar panels uh, are really heavily outperformed by one kilowatt of uh, wind turbine if we calculate it per one kilowatt of setup. Because it's not fair to compare one wind turbine, which is only one kilowatt, to 43 kilowatts of solar. Absolutely not, because like solar will 99% <laughs> time uh, outperform it really heavily. But once we are talking about one kilowatt of setup, then yeah, then the difference is drastical. For example, right now, let me switch the camera and show you. So for example, right now, this small one kilowatt beast goes somewhere around 350, 400 watts. And that's because I have a lot of mistakes in my setup. The height is not good enough, the, the wires are not thick enough, the inverter is quite far away because the wire has to go all the way down and then underground all the way there. And only in that place, it goes inside and there is an inverter. It's like 35 meters. It's really, really long and to, and there are quite heavy losses, of course. So if the inverter would have been located, for example, somewhere here and then 220 volts were supplied to the house directly, the losses would be like 2% probably. Of course, the wire has to be also uh, much thicker. But given this, even given these mistakes with the setup, and of course the height is not good enough because basically the, 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 the height of the top of the of, of the roof is the same as, as, as this piece where the wind turbine sits. And once the wind blows from over there, I have got no production. Maybe 5% of what it should be uh, getting. Mm, and, and that gives me trouble, a little bit, but I had to put it on for this winter at least some in some way so i'm happy with it so even in this setup wind turbine during november december and 20 days of january has been outperforming solar um, in i would say 70 percent of days uh yeah that's mainly because of snow because once the snow is covering your Solar, solar panels, of course, they produce very, very little. That's natural because... Because under the snow, they, they cannot produce anything. Right now, there is no snow because the wind was heavily blowing and it blown the off, uh, ever, blown off everything. But the reality is that there might be days when your 43 kilowatts of solar will produce only maybe like two kilowatt hours per day three kilowatt hours per day and these days will be uh, normally during during winter days i'm getting around uh, from 10 to 15 kilowatts of kilowatt hours from my solar and approximately like 43 kilowatts of solar and approximately somewhere between uh, 0 0.7 uh, up to 2 kilowatts uh, kilowatt hours from 1 kilowatt wind turbine
Um, that's because also I live in the area where the winds are not really strong enough. Because for today, today, for example, this is going to set a record. It will produce three kilowatt hours, for example, which is uh, really way more than uh, than it generally produces. But the thing from it is that solar itself is very good. It's very cheap currently, and it's um, really like the first thing to start with once you're going off grid or with uh, whatever alternative energy you want to use. But for wind. Uh, for the, the for winter and and like autumn winter and spring months when there is less solar of course you will have to add the wind turbine and believe me this one is really a good one it's a small one it's only one kilowatt one uh with 2.5 wind wheel diameter uh but eventually you can get a bigger one really easily i will give you the link to to, to, to this good thing uh on aliexpress you can buy it from there uh, and the price would be really like similar as anywhere uh, you will get it uh, on any, any, anywhere else. And what is good, you can connect it to the grid tie inverter, like I do, and it will fit perfectly. Um, so yeah, that that's it for for now. Let me just show you the inverter, how it looks and how it works from its perspective, quickly. So here it is, the wind turbine. It get inside. It gets inside this uh, cabinet. This is the brake, the manual brake, only for maintenance. Do not intend to slow the turbine because it shortcuts all the wires. Three wires get inside here. Then this is the lightning protection box, and then this is the switch for the inverter, the main thing that operates the wind turbine. It's a Chinese blue grid tie inverter. It's uh, literally one of the best inverters you can get for small wind turbine up to 2 kilowatts uh, of power. Uh, they are produced in two different values. No, right now they have added the third value. So the biggest one is 2 kilowatt, the smaller one is 1 kilowatt, and there is also 600 watt. I haven't tried it yet. But you can eventually, buying with buying this one, which has three inputs for wind turbine, uh, you can eventually use it in three modes. You can use it for solar, for batteries, and for wind turbine. How to switch it, I will tell you later, but that's actually a really nice secret it has, uh, because currently it, it's been sold like 45 till 90 volts, but currently I'm operating it in mode 22 to 60. I can just switch it. There are secrets, I will make a little video about this a little bit later. It has a dump load, which is very important. So that's a protection for your wind turbine. And of course it, it, it produces, it supplies then AC, which goes into this cable and then goes over over here. And then it gets into the gen port of my main hybrid inverter, which is Deia or Sunsync in Europe. And the power coming into, you can see above, right over here. So that's the wattage that goes from, from that one. Um, yeah, that's that. That's basically how it works. So this this inverter is actually really good one. Uh, for someone who is familiar with wind, you know that the wind output is actually something that always fluctuates. It's not always stable because you get you, you have something higher, you have something less. And to understand where to mount your wind turbine, of course, you have to have the um, measurements, proper measurements from something like this, which is the weather station that has to give you some piece of information, like what are the winds on your area and if, you are, uh, if, if your location is good enough to have a wind turbine. My location is pretty good, but not the best because the average winds are quite low. However, I'm still really happy with it because what it outputs, it's really helped to uh, improve autonomy or to save the electricity bill. Um, I've told you the numbers already. So th th this is the output. This small 2.5 wind wheel wind turbine is producing is uh, only for like five with something meters per second wind. It's not much uh, just because of several mistakes I told you about wires to thing and the inverter being too far from the uh, wind turbine. These are the main, the main things that would have improved it a lot without like too much um too much effort and too much too much box of investments 
into it and yeah that's basically it uh, all the links you will find below the video for th these things that work perfectly i will not actually give you the links for the for the batteries and for and for this inverter because like this is really serious equipment uh, this is something that uh, you should actually buy from uh, your local dealer i don't know or find find something uh, that is supplied locally but this thing is really really good and uh, basically how it's connected in, onto the microinverter input so this is three phase generator and only one phase uh, and, and single phase generator gets supplied in here so i have this cabinet open let me just show you quickly how it goes so like this is the switch that that switches between the gan input and uh, and everything else and down there below there is the, the zero wire the blue one and the brown one like this one is the wire that the, 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 the phase uh, gets into. And as you may see, these other two four phases, they are empty. There is nothing going into. So a single phase inverter gets into, like, and, and of course the ground you have to, here is, here is the wire, and the ground wire has to get to the standard ground, uh, how do you call this, bar? The ground bar. And well, yeah, that's that's how it's used. Why why does it have two, two switches? Because if I can switch it to the different positions, so I can supply my other solar setup uh, as well. Because my solar is split into two 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 pieces. Everything that is in the house, it's uh, going in, in in here, and everything that's uh, that part, it goes directly to the grid. But in case the grid is getting switched off, I can supply it into this one. To not basically be left with only one third of solar. Uh, like that's th th this is all I wanted to tell you right now. And let me know if there are any topics that you will want to be covered more exactly, more more directly. How all this stuff is actually, if that's interesting for you. Uh, like and subscribe. Oh, I'm always forgetting to actually ask you guys, uh, ask you people to like and subscribe the videos. And uh, somebody may tell that I will never reach whatever subscribers goals but whatever uh, like and subscribe yeah please thanks